Now we turn to the continuing controversy Republican for Republican candidate Herman Cain. The lawyer for one of the women who accused him of inappropriate conduct in 1999 says she wants to tell her story, but she can't. As for Cain, he continues to insist there was no harassment. CBS News political correspondent Jan Crawford joins us from Washington this morning with more. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Erica. You know, supporters of Herman Cain have said these allegations are racially motivated, that he's being attacked because he's a black conservative. But now it's the candidate himself who seems to be agreeing. Yes, last night. Herman Cain was asked directly if he thought revelations he'd been accused of sexually harassing two women were racially motivated. I believe the answer is yes, but we do not have any evidence to support it. There are some people who are Democrats, liberals, who do not want to see me win the nomination, and there could be some people on the right. Kane has been criticized for how he initially handled the controversy. When the story first broke, he seemed to give conflicting answers when asked about a settlement with one of the accusers. I'm not aware of a settlement. Yes, that was some sort of settlement or termination. Kane says he wasn't changing his story, but remembering events a decade ago. The way I explain that contradiction is because when I first heard the word settlement, I thought legal settlement. And my recollection early in, my recollection later was that there was an agreement. So I made an assumption about the word settlement. It wasn't intended to be Clintonian. Now, Kane's opponents are beginning to break the silence about the controversy, including Michelle Bachman at a Baptist conference last night in the key state of Iowa. This is the year when we can't have any surprises with our candidate. We have to have a candidate that we can know when we put them into office, we can trust them with their record of what they have done and who they are. And for the first time, the lawyer for one of Kane's accusers is speaking out. Joel Bennett says his client, a married federal employee living in Maryland, was credible. It had to be something that my client found upsetting or she wouldn't have pursued the process. But Bennett says he does not remember the specific allegations. He does remember it was resolved through a confidential settlement agreement. I think the National Restaurant Association ought to waive the confidentiality and non-disparagement positions and let the two women, if they choose to do so, come forward and tell their stories so that it can get a complete public airing. Now, Bennett said, of course, that his client might be willing to speak out. One of the questions she would face was how much was that settlement? The New York Times is reporting this morning that one of the women got $35,000 a year salary. Erica? Jan Crawford in Washington. Jan, thanks.